Hello and welcome to Kerbal Sushram. You might remember the Skyhawk Mark 1, or as I called it, the unnamed super fast cruiser thing. It now has weapons on it, because I'm using BD Armory to weaponize some of my ships. And by ships I of course mean planes, also there's an A-10 over there which we are going to shoot at. But first I have to actually take off. So this is the Skyhawk, as I said, it's finally got a name. It's got these two ammo boxes here, it's got two more hidden in here. And it's got chaff deploying, which I, well not chaff, it's countermeasures, and actually they're heat countermeasures, not, you know, not the other kind that I was saying, not chaff, they're flares. I think that's the right term, flares, but anyhow, I can shoot flares to discourage missiles from killing me. And as you can see, they make a nice pretty pattern when I go like that. I also have these missiles on the wings, which I can just... we Oh, um, I'd already targeted that, so now that's gonna aim at that. I can also tap zero to bring on my targeting indicator for my gun. Oops, and now that I have that on, it's gonna fire. But right now, let's... Ooh, ooh. And that's what it looks like when that hits. Also, where's my freaking... Where's my indicator? There it is. It went away. That's interesting. But, uh, this has a Vulcan cannon on the belly. It is quite loud. It can fire a lot of rounds very fast. It has a lot of bullets you can keep firing for quite a wire. Quite a wire? Quite a wire. So that's about all I have to say about the Skyhawk right now. Oh yes, there are those four pylons on the wings. Those, I have not actually tried putting anything on them. I don't even know if it could use all four successfully. I imagine if used uh, Hellfire missiles, which are the lightest missile, or at least I'm pretty sure they're the lightest missile, then I'm pretty sure you could effectively use them. But like I said, I haven't tried it. Next, I'll show you the A-10 Lightning uh, weapon demonstrator, because basically I decided to take one of each of these attachable weapons from BD Armory and put one of each, except for the Hellfire Missiles, there are two Hellfire Missiles, but everything else there's only one of, and uh, demonstrate those weapons with this. This is also, it's got the proper giant Gatling gun on it, like an A-10 should. And as you'll soon see, it is slower to take off with because of the added weight of these weapons, but it still flies fairly well. It was it was very tricky. I had to adjust the position of the wing, and I had to adjust it for the fact that it would start with all this weaponry on board being too, and especially the ammo for the Gatling gun at the front, it would be too heavy, too forward heavy. Oh shoot, I'm going off the side. Nope, I'm not. Okay. And now you can see I'm taking off. Also, you notice I had my throttle at one third. If I had my throttle any higher than that, it would actually take me longer to take off because of the fact that the center of thrust is above the center of mass, which actually exerts a downward force on your plane. So yes, there's that, and as you can see, this is a Sidewinder, which is like an air-to-air -air missile, I think. Or at least, that's that's what I'd assume, that's what I always thought, therefore, it's going around to go kill the thing now. Very maneuverable, as you can see there. This Hellfire is a short-range air-to-ground. The rocket pod, of course, is unguided rockets, which fire much like that. This uh, A-10 also has chaff, of course. Not chaff, uh, flares, but you know. Flares that come out of those little things on the uh, landing gear. That's where flares actually come out on an A-10, or at least as far as I could tell, because I saw pictures of it, but I didn't see anything actually confirming that that's where they come out of. This is a bomb, which has little drag things so that it can be fired and it drops it drops more straight down instead of far off. This is a missile, a ma Maverick missile. This missile, that was like a long-range air-to-ground, I believe. This one has thrust vectoring for control, so it works in space. But there's there's that. There's also, what is this? This is an AMRAM, which is a medium-range missile, I believe. Medium-range, I th believe it's supposed to be used on ground targets as well. Not 100% certain. Anyhow, Let's go ahead and drop the cluster bomb and show you that. There we go. And as you can see, it pops open. And then there's my plane up there. And it goes something like...
that. Which is pretty cool. Also, my plane, I fired enough ordnance for it to not be falling, but if I'd fired that earlier and then switched away from it, it would be like aimed down when I got back to it. So anyhow, I've showed you the other gun, now to show you this gun. Which of course fires much louder. Well not much louder, but it has that that roar like an A-10 gun actually does because because this is an a10 with an a10's gun actually i'm not 100 certain i think the gal 9 which is what this gun is supposed to be is a different gun than the one on the a10 but whatever it's close enough and we don't have a cockpit view so i can't i can't aim from in the cockpit but that's okay oh i've come on come on There we go. Shot it a bit more. Woo! So yes, the A-10 now has weaponry, and so does the Skyhawk. There will be downloads to the versions without anything attached to them in the description, as well as like a, a version with kind of like some standard armament, armaments that I made up and, you know, stuff. And I'm going to crash it right now. Ooh, no I'm not! Ha <laughs> ha ha! Thanks for watching. As always, let me show you the next plane. And by next plane, I really meant uh, kind of what I decided would be like the standard armaments for the A-10 as far as I'm concerned. So we got two sidewinders on each wing, three of these Hellfires, uh, one of these Mavericks, a Mark 82 bomb, and a, smi a Snake Eye. Excuse me, I was going to say a Smart. It's not Smart, it's a Snake Eye, which is a bit different. A Smart Bomb would mean it has active targeting capabilities whereas this one just has these air brakes so that it loses forward momentum faster and so it falls quicker like straight down this originally was supposed to have six of each of these bombs you know three on each pylon but that was too heavy for it to take off it would just take off and then crash immediately because it couldn't lift off and that's because these weapons are heavy and they're being placed in front of the center of mass because the center of ma or center of mass and center of lift because as you can see the center of mass and lift are on the rear of the wing all these weapons are mounted on the wing they're mounted very far back but not far enough back to where i could mount that many and have it still work Yes, so now for the actual takeoff, in which we actually take off and don't just kill ourselves by accidentally hitting G. Yeah, that was, that was dumb of me. But yes, you can see this. It has a bit of trouble taking off, but fortunately it will make it off the runway at some point. You know, at some point. I don't remember exactly where it takes off at. Right about here, I'd say, based on the fact that it is currently taking off. There we go. We're now in the air. I can drop one of these. Probably not a good idea to do it while that close to the ground, but there you go. You can drop that. You can drop another one. You can drop another one. I don't know how to drop these in rapid succession in a good way, but there's got to be a way. Yes. So you can see the difference in the firing arc actually right there, because there's a snake eye behind, and then those two that are much farther ahead are the regular kind. So you can see how that goes. And um, all the weapons on here actually are, <laughs> they have lock on, like they're, they're, they're all set to a specific thing. And now that's gonna get utterly annihilated. And then these ones don't know where to go anymore, so they just crash. Unfortunately, these bullets are too weak to destroy any buildings, which is sad, because that's the first thing I wanted to do was blow up some buildings with this gun. It's interesting that the uh, bombs can't destroy the runway either. That's the A-10 and the Skyhawk, both ready for tons of weaponry. Thanks for watching, as always, see you in space. So we here here so we here are what runway are on but I really want to f Whoops that's going to go badly for me Yeah that went badly Let's see is this the this is the demonstration version so it has everything all lined up 
Let's just drop a bomb right here. Huh. That had an interesting... <laughs> okay, never drop bombs like that, guys. Never. Because that was freaking hilarious and explosive.